In this video, we're going to wrap up our four question series on the SN1, SN2, E1, E2 decision. And we're going to talk about the role of temperature. It's actually going to be a really short video for that reason. We've already talked about type of substrate. We've talked about the type of nucleophile or base. We've talked about the solvent. And if you've weighed all of these different considerations and you looked at your example and you're not sure at this point exactly, still not sure what can happen, either you're looking at SN1, E1, or SN2, E2, Here's the last thing you need to look at, and that is the temperature. The role of temperature is very, very simple. Heat favors elimination versus substitution. And it the reason why is is uh, it has to do with the thermodynamics has to do specifically with entropy of elimination reactions compared to substitution reactions and actually we talked about that in a previous video so if you're interested you see that but really if you're not sure and you're looking at an SN1 versus uh, E1 decision and you notice that there is heat then you're, it's going to be more likely that you're going to be looking at an elimination type reaction it, again you're looking at SN2 versus E2 and you notice that there is heat it's going to be a lot more likely that you're looking at an elimination, like an E2 type decision in that case. I'm kind of uh, reluctant to give specific examples because I, I noticed there isn't a lot of consistency, uh, especially with regard to the E1. But if you just remember the bottom line that heat favors elimination reactions, and if you notice that there is heat, chances are that you're looking at an elimination reaction versus SN1, assuming you've already made decision about all the other variables involved. So that wraps it up.